Cool. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Stuart. I'm here uh, representing IIEMSA, formerly known as uh, Monash South Africa. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me in these rather unusual circumstances or unusual times. Um, but it is very nice to be able to still uh, reach out to people and um, obviously share some value, valuable information with the grade 12s of 2020 um, and anyone else who's actually joined us uh, this evening or anyone else who watches, watches this presentation. Cool, so basically, yeah, I'm here from IIEMSA and I'm just going to share some more um, insights into our philosophy um, and really just give you more information on the institution itself, um, a little bit more on our unique approach and what we're really trying to achieve with our students um, on campus. All right, so I'm just going to run through this presentation quickly with you. Um, we've identified that we're living in a new world, which means the way that we learn, the way that we think, and the way that we work has changed forever. It's constantly changing all the time. Uh, the workplace is evolving um, at an unprecedented pace, moving into new spaces. And our biggest question we ask our students is, are you going to be ready for this future? So what is this new world? Um, it's not a lofty, far out concept. Basically, it's the world that we're currently living in and working in at the moment, and it's changing all the time. All right, where there's change, there is obviously also opportunity. So in the new world, you might not necessarily be working a traditional nine to five desk job. You could be working remotely um, from wherever you are at any given point in time. So things like connectivity, having things like smartphones, laptops, tablets, allow you to stay connected. And this has allowed for new kind of careers to emerge. So things like gig economy and digital nomads, these are new world careers. These are people who work from any location at any given point in time. You could have up to 11 different careers throughout your life as well. So not just 11 different jobs, you could have up to 11 different careers throughout your life. Okay, so this is all very exciting. There's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of potential. Okay, but as much as the world is changing, the skills to be successful in it never will. All right, so those are exactly the skills that we are interested in at IIEMSA. So if you think about it, it's not the person that thinks he or she knows all the answers that's going to get ahead. It's really the person that's able to ask the right questions, person that's able, that's able to maybe think a bit differently or creatively, really being able to communicate efficiently and effectively, and really able to apply themselves to kind of find better solutions to solve bigger problems that are really going to be in high demand by the employers of today and tomorrow. You then need to also ask yourself, is the institution that you're choosing to go to going to help you and equip you with the necessary skills to go out and make a success of yourself in this new world? You might also be wondering what the difference between IIEMSA and a traditional or public university might be. When I say that, I'm talking about your well-known public universities here in South Africa. All right. In terms of qualifications, we are essentially exactly the same. All of our qualifications have been afforded the same status by the Council of Higher Education, and this also puts us on the same level in terms of international footing. In terms of qualifications, we're on par. The main difference really lies in the way in which we provide the education service. So we are a private institution. Naturally, we are smaller than typical traditional or public universities, which is really what we want. So smaller numbers allows us to have all of our energy and focus on our students, really putting a lot of emphasis on what goes on inside the classroom, trying to keep our lecturers and students interacting and engaging with one another, and really just trying to provide our students with that individual attention that they would have been accustomed to from school. But that's also necessary to create an optimal teaching and learning environment. We also understand that the new world requires a new approach to teaching and learning. So we've taken a step back from the traditional sit and learn lecture method to a more kind of progressive or personal approach where our lecturers are encouraging our students to debate and discuss topics in class. As time goes by and the skills transfer takes place, our students get more knowledge on the subject. They'll then take on more responsibility for their own learning and development, and our lecturers will take on a more kind of facilitating role. So this allows our graduates really to uh, emerge, being able to think for themselves, having a clear and an in-depth understanding of the subject material, and really understanding how they would apply what they've learned in class out in the working world. That's a distinct advantage we've identified our graduates having over graduates who have maybe been writing lecture notes for three years, mesmerizing those lecture notes in order just to pass their exams and not really debating or discussing any of the topics that have been covered in class. 
All right, so a bit of an introduction to IIEMSA. This is what our campus looks like. It's nice and big, it's nice and modern, nice and new, and obviously very clean. Um, spacious, we've got a lot of academic facilities, uh, sports and recreational facilities, and an on-campus residence. We have definitely become one of the most successful uh, private higher education brands here in South Africa, becoming a true provider of quality education and a leader in the private higher education space with our proven record of academic excellence. We are also obviously constantly striving to be adaptable to our millennial generation's needs in terms of internationality, employability, and overall student experience. In terms of our academic credentials, so we're part of the IIE, the Independent Institute of Education. They're the largest and the most accredited private tertiary education providers here in South Africa. So we are at the forefront of private tertiary education, and we are also accredited by the BAC, the British Accreditation Council. So they're a quality assurance agency in the UK, and they accredit education providers in the UK, throughout Europe, Middle East, and now here in South Africa too. So that is more of a quality assurance accreditation, just making sure that our students' on-campus lifestyles, learning experiences, basically quality of life on campus is meeting international best practice standards at all times. Okay, and then just to give you an idea of what is happening on our campus in terms of academics, we have a wide range of master degrees, there's postgraduate programs, bachelor degrees, diplomas, and higher certificates, and we have seven different faculties or schools, which are IT, law, engineering, human and health studies, commerce, communication and media, and finance and accounting. Okay, now difference really lies in the way in which we provide the education service. We like to think that we do have a very unique approach to the way in which uh, we provide our students with their experience. Um, and we like to think that we are also developing a well-balanced and holistic student, so developing a full student, giving them all areas of a student lifestyle, but at the same time, helping them to kind of refine certain skills and addressing certain areas that are gonna help them go out into the working world and have a successful start to their careers. Okay, and this can really be kind of broken down into three main elements, right? This lifestyle can be broken down into three main elements. And the first element is an academic element. Okay, this has obviously got to do with our students getting their qualification. Associated with that is our small classes. They range from between 30 and 80 students in a class. So probably a little bit more than most students are used to, um, but definitely a lot less than a couple hundred like you could find elsewhere. Like I mentioned earlier, small classes, the idea there is to kind of get our students and lecturers interacting and engaging with one another, um, really making it easy to provide that individual attention. And it's also an opportunity for our students to get to know their fellow classmates. Naturally like that, just knowing people around you in your social environment will make you feel more comfortable, more relaxed, less hesitant to maybe ask a question, start a debate, you know, raise your hand in, in the, during the lecture, um, and kind of get involved. That's where the deeper, more meaningful learning definitely stems from. Our lecturers are all highly qualified. We have a one-up qualification policy in terms of lecturing, um, meaning that our lecturers have to have a one-up qualification to whatever they are lecturing. Most of them have been active professionals as well, meaning they have been out in the working world, they've got industry experience, and they are able to kind of bring the theory to life that they go through in class um, in a really practical manner. We do also have a blended learning approach, which means that we integrate our face-to-face -face lectures, which is obviously on-campus face-to-face uh, physical lectures, as well as online learning. So online learning just gives our students the opportunity to apply the theory they've learned in class to real life scenarios through these online driven activities. This is also made possible by the free Wi-Fi that's across the campus for all of our students and that they have access to, meaning that this platform would be accessible at any point um, as long as the students are on campus. Okay, the next element of this lifestyle is a practical element. And the idea here is to try and assist our students get some relevant part-time work while they're still studying. Right, relevant being a key word there. Um, obviously, if you're looking to go into um, the IT, IT space or an IT career, we don't necessarily want you getting a part-time work at a law firm because that's not necessarily going to help you build your industry contacts, um, kind of address or, or identify skills that you're going to need and it's not really gonna help you build on those skills going forward. Okay, so we have a career center on campus, which is a free service that we offer to all of our students. Go and chat to the career center, they'll build a profile on you, see what you're studying, what your interests are, what type of route you're looking to go down, 
and they can assist you in finding some part-time it could even be full-time work opportunities obviously it just depends on what's available at the time you can also sit down with the career center coordinator and they can help you with things like career mapping um, designing your cv interview preparations communication skills in the workplace how to dress the main idea there is just to get you feeling as confident and as comfortable as possible so that when you leave us and you go out into the working world you can hopefully have a successful start and it's a smooth transition from there Right, and then last element that we've identified is obviously a social element. Okay, and uh, obviously being a student is not all just about working in academics. There is definitely a vibrant social aspect to the lifestyle, necessary to bring in a bit of balance um, and a bit of sanity, of course, but also very important to develop social and networking skills. Okay, and this is done through a wide range of social activities found on campus, ranging from our on-campus radio station. We have multiple different computer labs, um, a well-equipped and fully functional gym, a large multi-resource three-story library, multiple different chill areas and canteens and different activities to do in and around those areas. We have a community engagement department. They do any fundraising, awareness drives, outreach programs, anything really that's giving back to the community in any sort of way. An on-campus SRC, Student Representative Council, they're basically the voice of the students and they'll bring up any issues, concerns or praises that students have for us. Um, we do offer quite a, a wide range of sports. Um, I want to say almost any sport you can think of, we are offering, whether it's on a competitive or more kind of laid back social level. Um, we do cater for all, all, for all needs, whether you are trying to play competitive um, or really just trying to get involved in, in some sports, make some friends and yeah, just have some fun while doing that. And then there are obviously also many different social clubs and societies that have formed um, due to people's different interests and obviously that you would be able to join depending on your uh, interests or um, hobbies. Okay, and then this is just a quick slide of our community of students doing different things in and around the campus for you to have a quick look at. Right, and then our campus is also very safe and secure. So we do have 24 hour security on campus at all times. Um, we only have one entrance and exit, so it is quite easy to control who comes in and out of the campus. And there are also foot patrol who ro roam around the campus throughout the day and the night. Obviously, having an on-campus residence, safety is something we do take very, very seriously at IIE MSA. Speaking about on-campus residents, right, I don't have too much information um, on this presentation, unfortunately. Okay, but we do have an on-campus res, meaning that there are students from pretty much all over the world that are staying on campus. Um, it wouldn't be your own space, it would be a shared space of either a two bedroom apartment, I mean, sorry, a four bedroom apartment with two bathrooms or a six bedroom apartment with two bathrooms. Um, the idea behind that is to try and make it easy for our students to kind of form those social relationships, form study groups, support structures, um, and really just kind of get each other through the studying. Um, also the benefits of being on campus Obviously, you're limiting time traveling to and from the lectures, making it really easy to get to the lectures on time um, and get to tests and things like that, reduce the stress. And also, you'll have access to all of the amenities on campus uh, throughout the day and obviously off, throughout the operating hours. You know, there is a 24 hour section in the library that you would have access to, and the gym would be open. You'd have access to the different canteens and things like that. Okay, but if you are looking to get more information specifically on the res, there's a really nice page on our website. Um, you can have a look there and you can definitely contact the res department through there okay and then these are just some pictures of our campus and what it looks like um, the top three are kind of through the main courtyard splitting the campus down the middle and in two bottom right is one of the newer buildings and um, the gym is found in that building there there's some smaller lecture venues as well it's got a really nice view too looking over the hills over the west rand and then there are different spots around the campus that have been created for our students to kind of go and relax at. So you can see bottom left, there's a koi pond, really nice spot to go and chill at, at uh, maybe the end of the day, um, or maybe after a test or before a test, even kind of uh, de-stress de and unwind um, and just kind of take your mind off things if they are getting a bit hectic. Okay, and that's pretty much all that we are trying to achieve with our students, um, ultimately, what to expect being a student at IIE would kind of look like. Um, then our next step in the application process, 
would be to book an appointment with a student advisor. Okay, and then in this, in this appointment, we'll go through the fact sheets. Um, we'll go through the fact sheet, we'll cover, uh, we'll look at your qualification, cover the things like the entrance requirements, um, give you a module breakdown, okay, and really just give you a lot of insight or a lot more insight into the qualification itself. So you've got insight now into IIEMSA and our philosophy and what we're trying to achieve with our students. Okay, the next step would be booking this appointment, getting more insight into um, the qualification that you're looking at doing, um, and yeah, what's going to be expected of you throughout the qualification. And it also just gives us a nice opportunity to kind of have a one-on-one -on -one session with you, answer some questions directly, um, and yeah, really just kind of answer and give you more information relating to your studies for next year. So like I said earlier, my name is Stuart. Um, that's my contact number down there. You can either give me a call or you can send me a WhatsApp. It does also work on WhatsApp to book an appointment with me. Um, yeah, and I will be glad, I would, I would gladly assist you guys um, to set up one of these appointments. Right, and that's pretty much all of my um, time and all of my information that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it was, I wanna say lovely to meet you all. Um, but yeah, it was really nice that you guys would make time to time out of your day to meet with me. Um, I enjoyed the presentation and sharing IIEMSA and our philosophy with you. I will be, uh, I'll be gladly, well, I'd really like to hear from you guys and yeah, I'll be, I'll be waiting for um, your call or for your message. All right, just back to my contact details. You guys can have a look there. Um, and yeah, feel free to send me a message or an email. Any questions you have relating to studies, whether it's got to do with entrance requirements, um, subject choice. Um, yeah, if you want to come through and have a look at the campus, obviously when, when we uh, are all fully back to campus and everything's open, you are more than welcome to send me a message and we can arrange for you to come and have a look at the campus and a bit of a campus tour as well. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, thank you for making time out of your day to meet with me. Like I said, it was lovely. Um, I enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll wait to hear from you. Um, cheers, everyone. Stay safe.